Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Hey, I'm going to do a fun little video here. It's going to be a review video. Now, this isn't a gun review or a knife review. It's going to be a sword review. Yeah, I love knives. I have a, I love Kershaw's. Uh, I love Swiss. I love Buck. I, I love all kinds of knives. I have tons of them. But this is going to be a sword video review. I have a couple of swords here. I'll review this one here. This, these are both Cashlagas. They're made by a company called Lutel out of Europe. Uh, they're actually out of the Czech Republic. Now, this is their, their sergeant's model. And you can have whatever guard you want when you order these. These are all custom made to order weapons. So, this is the sergeant's model. It has the double ring guard. Uh, that is a solid double ring guard. This is more for fighting than it would be for uh, just like hanging on your hip is something pretty. You would really this is a really good fighting blade because you have better hand protection with a double ring guard. Now this particular blade has seen a bunch of combat. I've been fighting with this one for a few years now. Uh, there's one good ding where I hit an ATAR. Uh, the guy I was fighting with had an ATAR that was a little bit harder than this and chipped this out. But I have broken a couple of, uh, uh, who was, I, I don't remember the makers, so I'm not going to badmouth any makers, but I did break a couple other swords with this. Uh, this is a, a well-made sword. I believe that uh, you have to just wait for our dollar to go uh, up a little bit and their dollar to go down a little bit. It's the best time to buy. I, I picked up this one. This was only like 250 when I picked it up. Uh, the only problems I've really had with this particular blade is that guard broke, and I've had to glue it back together. But this, the way these are designed, they're designed. These are actually a period design. They're designed with a nut, so actually, I, it's a, that's a, uh, a socket. I just put a socket on, turn that off, and you would see that they're serialized on the inside, and this just all comes out, comes off, and you can take this uh, wooden guard, the handle off, and. Uh, and I just glue it back up. So I did that, but that's the only problem I found with this blade. It has a really a nice balance. It balances right in front of the handguard as, as a good sword should. Uh, and it's a sergeant's model, so it's shorter. Whereas compared to this lieutenant's model or captain's model, which is a lot longer, this one's still also, I fought with this a bunch of times. Uh, most people I fight with when I fight with this, I guess they just have softer blades. There's a few nicks, good nicks and, and dinks in it, but not as bad as this one. This one's really been chewed up a lot more. Now, for hand protection, this has a split, a double split uh, S-curve on it. Also, typical of a cash flaga with the uh, S-curve. These are both cash flagas. But uh, I'm not really going to review that blade. That blade, so far, this is actually an older blade. I've had this blade for almost... 10 years. This one's only about three years old, but I really beat the poop out of this one. Uh, I do a lot of, uh, I guess they call it live steel sword fighting, where you actually uh, put on a suit of armor and swing at each other and actually hit each other. And I've used this blade several times in uh, tournament style live steel fighting and demonstration style where we're just pounding the crap out of each other. And it's held up really well. Uh, if you go to the, I don't know, you can see some pictures of me fighting with this on the Southern California Renaissance Pleasure Fair site. Uh, there are some photos of me fighting with this particular sword. You can actually, there's one, one photo, I believe, on their site where I'm, I've actually knocked a sword out of somebody else's hand with this sword. So it's, it's been a, Lutel makes a good sword. I mean, I have uh, probably 100 and plus swords, all from different makers. My favorites are have become Lutels over the last several years. As you can see, just sitting here, I have uh, three Lutels just right here. Uh, this is a Zweihanda. These are both Cashflagas. But uh, just three Lutels just sitting on my bench. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little quick informative video. I'll put a link down there to uh, Lutel Swords. So if you want to have a custom sword made for yourself, to hang on the wall or to go to a renaissance fair with. 
Uh, you sure can. They held up very well to real life combat. Uh, you can get them sharpened or unsharpened. Sounds like a commercial. <laughs> and they hold up, as you can see, they hold up pretty well. You can see there are dings in the sword. But it's not broken. And this is unsharpened. You can order them sharpened as well. But this is unsharpened. For the kind of sword fighting I do, I do not want a sharp blade. Because if I hit someone where there's no armor, I do not want to cut off a limb or hurt them very badly. So, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have a great day.